Hey everyone, this is Junior from the Binary Lab. I want to show you in this video how, like, how to select a good Forex VPS. So, first and foremost, what is a good Forex VPS? Uh, I'll show you what it is by clicking on My VPS Installation. I'm using a Mac, and the good news is that you can actually monitor this on any platform, whether you're using like PC, uh, Win, like, uh, sorry, you're using PC or Mac, or even like iOS or Android, tablet, whatever. You can use it. You can simply download uh, Microsoft Remote Desktop. You can access it anywhere you want, even on your cell phone. It's really, really cool. And it enables me to basically, you know, show up my VPS right here. So this is actually my VPS, and you can see over here, uh, these are the traits that I have running. I have uh, two instances of EA that is running on two different accounts. For example, I'm simulating a strategy right now on the USD30. Okay, and then at the same time, uh, I'm also, you know, running my my forward test, which is a live account, as you can see over here. Uh, the one I've been telling you that's getting 24% a month. So, um, VPS is a really good way for you to, uh, you know, to run your trades, keep them up. I mean, compared to leaving your computer on, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to leave your computer on like 24-5, right? You're going to fry your CPU and, you know, who knows when the stupid update is going to kick in and then your, your trades don't get monitored by the EA. So either they stay in for too long or, or you're not taking the trades. And then sometimes, you know, the stupid update comes in and you... you you, you lose money because of that. Why would you want that? Or let's say someone else on your computer um, just does something to it. So it's not really cost effective to keep your computer running all the time. So it's, that's why you should get a VPS. The other good reason why you should be running a VPS is that let's say if you want to do any testing, back testing, okay, uh, these cloud computing is built to help you compute faster. They are optimized for this purpose with the solid state drives. So they can actually do back testing optimization a lot faster. And you know, you can actually do it without robbing you from computing other tasks. Would you agree with me that you're trying when you're trying to optimize an EA, for instance, all right? You want to do var various variables. You set uh, different levels of start, step, and stop. Okay, then there's going to be more and more commut uh, permutations, and the more permutation it takes, it takes more time to process this information. The good news about this is that because there's more than enough dedicated resource to this, you can simply do your test and then you can just like check back in in half an hour, check back in in an hour sometimes. But most of the time it's all within there and it's, it's going to be a lot quicker than you running on your, your own PC, your own Mac. This is the VPS that I use. I use AccuWeb Hosting. Okay, So let's say some of you, uh, for example, for those of you who recently got into my Forex uh, hedging EA, if you open a link using my FXTM, you actually get to receive a free VPS from the broker with similar specifications to this uh, if you open an account with 5000 and above through my link and there is no kind of loss of trading requirement right? just as long as your account is 5000 and above you get a free VPS that's worth you know like 20 plus 30 bucks uh, plus per month um, but for those of you who are starting out let's say you want to test a strategy you're not sure if you want to commit that much to it or for any other reason, you just like to be able to run on a third party. And by the way, most brokers in this day and age, they already let you run uh, your VPS on a third party instead of their own because they don't want to have the kind of uh, liability to say that, oh, you know, they're cheating. You know, they, they partnered up with a VPS to kind of scam you or something like that. So it's all third party these days and the support all third party is nothing to do with the company. It's just kind of a strategic relationship. But anyways, for those of you who want to do it privately, uh, I've checked around and this is the best one. I've been using them for the past like half year plus and I find them to be very good. Okay, so if you are just starting out, this one has the best value for $15 a month. Um, and there's, is, there's no like, even if you take like a year billing cycle, it's not going to make it any cheaper. Okay, so this is a good place to start. And why this is good? Because you know, you can compare this with anywhere you want. You can compare it with Beaks or whatever, and they're all more expensive. You can compare them with one that on the market that's called Cheap VPS or Cheap Forex VPS. But if you look at the specifications, if you do an X to X comparison, you're not going to get the same kind of uh, space, the same kind of storage, the same kind of CPU cores and bandwidth as this. So this one gives you the highest features for the money. And what that means for you is that you can run more simulations at the same time more instances of MT4 and you can run even multiple instances of EA on the same MT4 or more indicators whatnot right and it doesn't it does not slow down the system to a point that it can't run so for me I'm running two very comfortably sometimes I forget to close the the Google Chrome where I have my 
where I have my trade history running and it, it is fine. It, it, it actually doesn't, you know, it doesn't kind of uh, rob my, my processing power. Everything is still done very fast. And also, I forgot to mention one thing. VPS allows those of you in countries with slow internet or proxy server access uh, the ability to take trades with a, s a smaller lag time. So some countries like Singapore, you're used to like a 234 millisecond uh, delay when you take the trades. But over here, you know, when you use a VPS, you can get like what, 8 millisecond or something like that, 20 millisecond. So it's a big difference. Now coming back to over here, okay. So basically, this is the one that you should select. Uh, I'll, I'll walk you through the process in a bit. All right, some of you want to save money and let's say if you want to do this for a long period of time okay let's say if you're not depositing 5,000 with a broker and you to, to get the kind of a, a tr free VPS for example but you want a cheaper way of doing it I'm going to teach you how to save money you go to the VPS hosting tab you go to Windows VPS hosting and you click on Windows VPS SSD this is one option you can also do it without SSD uh, if you're running like a Martin Gale type EA, you don't really need to take SSD. But if you're running like a scalping, definitely you want SSD because you want a faster speed. Windows VPS will save you money. And uh, as you can see, it's $7.99 per month if you take an annual plan. So on a one month, it's going to be at $12.72. But if you take a year, then it takes a lot of, of uh, the price off. And if you sign up during like a cyber weekend or something, you may get an even better price. But I mean like, well, if you want to start now, this is the best option. Um, I'll just do a comparison. I mean, the bandwidth is actually even better, right? It's, it's 40, it's, it's 500 gigabytes just versus 250, and the RAM is the same, the cost is the same. Only thing is that you're not getting the SSD drive. But if you want an SSD drive, it's just a little bit more premium. For example, you go to this one and you scroll down for the annual plan, and this is going to be the same specifications as the Forex VPS. Uh, but in the one year, it was also just 12 bucks a month, so it's the same as the 3 bucks per month. But if you don't want a commitment, you can just simply go over to here, like I said, go to Windows VPS, scroll down to Forest VPS. Now I want to walk you through the uh, sign-up process, okay? Basically, when you start out, I want to inform you that there's going to be some kind of a uh, time lag because they need to set up your account, okay? Unlike some of the companies that do it instantaneously, this one is still manual, but apart from that, you know, the service is top-notch. I'm very, very happy with them. Uh, select your billing cycle. And then for the host name, okay? Um, just think of any domain name that you want to have. Uh, it may not be registered. In fact, you know they are going to register it for you. So you get a free domain name from this as well. So the thing of any domain name, you can use your own name and just put that in. And then uh, just create a password. Select the operating system that you need. Okay. Typically, uh, you know, it's gonna. You can just take uh, just this one because that actually does the job for most of the EAs. Um, and uh, you know, for the managed services, just leave it on a standard. Um, for backups, you don't really need that, okay? And then uh, they already have a complimentary backup. Additional IP address, you don't need this. Um, I mean, so you, if, if you may need for other purposes, well, more, you're more welcome to take it. Uh, this is the additional RAM, you don't need that as well. You don't need additional bandwidth. You don't need additional free space. Uh, and then the CPU cores, you can add them on if you're running more EAs. So uh, you can actually create your own package. And then after that, I mean, the, the only thing that I really need to tell you about is the host name because some people are wondering, you know, what host name should you have? You just, you can use your own name. Uh, let's say your name is like what? Um, JohnDoe.com, something like that. You just, just put that in. Let's type in JohnDoe.com. You need to put in like the .com or .net, whatever. So you see, don't don't just put in like John Doe. You need to put in a .com. Okay, you know, uh, or let's say John Doe.net, you know, whatever it is, okay, just put the whole URL phrase in. Then there will not be a, a delay time. So, for example, for me, in my case, I was a bit stupid at the time. I just simply typed it in, okay, for its maker, for instance, and then, and I didn't type the whole thing. So, I, I wasted a day or two because they had to get back to me and, and you know, they had to reach me uh, to ask me, you know, what kind of configuration that I want. And, on the other hand, I was there. I was like, hey, well, where's my service? I pay, I paid for it. You know, why can't I get started? Okay, so to save you the trouble, just make sure you type in the whole name properly. And then let's go to the continue and basically, you know, uh, wait for your login, your email, and you're all set to go. Uh, for the client, okay, to make things very, very easy, whether you're on PC or Mac, they may actually recommend you to use a different client. But from experience, okay, don't waste time. Just use the Microsoft 
remote desktop, they may tell you to use something else from the uh, you know the Mac repository for Mac, but this is way better. I had the other one was crashing on me so much. This is the better one to use. And when you add it in, all you need to do is to add in your connection name. Just give it a name. Like for example, I gave it a name AQMXM for my XM account. And then the PC name, you just type it, copy and paste it from your email. And just enter your username and password and select based on resolution. I recommend that you degrade it to like high color or 8-bit or 16-bit. This is gonna this is gonna save your CP, CPU computing power when it shows on your screen. It's gonna be less lag. Okay. And then uh, full screen mode, you can just select custom, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And uh, basically that's it. So it's a one-time setup and every time when you log in, you can just double click and you're into your setup. How easy is that? So uh, this is the best one that I've found. And once again, like I said, if you wish to uh, get free VPS, I have a link for you to create um, FXTM, which is the best spreads, leverage, customer support, bonus, all right? You can you can go there, create your account, five thousand above. You get free VPS. You can request it from them. Okay, but otherwise, if you want to do third party, if you're smart, so you have some some tests and experiments. This is a really really good space to start. I'm very very happy with my AccuWeb hosting account. Bye for now.